guys, it's Sarah with Pollard Farms. And Michael. And um, we're out here feeding the goats. So we were able to get a big round bale of peanut hay for the goats to um, eat on. Uh, what, we picked it up a week or two ago? A week or two ago. So anyways, but you follow the video, you'll see us giving it to them and them enjoying it. But peanut hay, you, you talk to them about the peanut it's hay. Basically, <clears throat> what they call the redneck alfalfa <clears throat> of hay. It, well, I can't think of the word. It starts with an L. Le, gween, uh, Le gween. It's in the same family as alfalfa. It pretty much is a 18 to 22 percent protein. And what it is, it, when the farmers dig the peanuts here, they just they go underneath it and they would flip it to where it turns the peanuts up on top and the vines are on bottom. And they leave the peanuts out for three to five days, depending on how long it, well, the weather conditions and everything, and dry the peanuts out. And then when they harvest it, the vines are still good and green. And they'll go in behind it some. Especially this year, there'd been more this year bail it. But they'll go in behind and bail it with the round baler because one, it's easier and quicker with the round bale. And two, most of it goes toward cattle feed and everything. So, but we were fortunate enough to buy one that, I think weighed 1,200 pounds and run 18% protein, and our goats absolutely loved it. I mean, you follow the video, you'll see that. But it had, it was real leafy, a lot of leaves and a lot of stems in it, and the goats loved it. So, and from what I was reading, like for those of you horse owners who like to feed alfalfa, it is a good alternative um, because it's got the same protein in it, but um, it's thinner stems than alfalfa so it's a little bit easier on the palate and to digest for the horses so it really is a great alternative if um, you start looking for hay if you get with your farmers that are growing peanuts see if they're gonna bill it for hay or if they would allow you or someone you know to bill it for hay also um, you know like the guy we bought it from we're here in Arkansas, but he sold, what, 1,200 bales? Oh, yeah, 2,500 2,500 bales. 2,500 bales sold going towards Texas and Oklahoma. So, you know... He would done prepaid for that in advance. Yeah, so you start looking for hay. Um, yeah, look at the your neighboring states that are growing peanuts and reach out to those farmers to see if that's something that you could do and if you have a uh, craigslist i mean that's easy to download that app and look on it and facebook marketplace a lot of farmers are advertising hay on there and there's uh we we have facebook and everything and you know you can follow us there we're on instagram tiktok and youtube but uh there's a hay exchange page on uh facebook there's several different hay pages on Facebook where you can reach out to neighboring places, but I know Georgia, Alabama, Arkansas, and I've seen parts of Texas and Missouri and parts of Louisiana because they got, uh, I've seen where some of the peanut farmers in North Louisiana, they don't have a peanut processing plant near them. Some of them was bringing theirs all the way up here to Marion, Arkansas to process and Personally, in our area, there was not a lot of peanuts till what, two, three years ago? Yeah. And now we have the bird song peanut processing in uh, cash. Yeah. And then they have a Delta peanut in Jonesboro. And I know they just built another Delta peanut place in uh, Kennett, Missouri. And I think, that, like I said, there's one at Marion, or it may be Mariana. I, can, I had to double check on that. But they got, I mean, it's exploding in this area. And the ones that don't bill it for hay, they just turn to plow everything back under because they put organic matter and nutrients back into the soil with them vines and decaying matter and everything. So it benefits them because they don't have to put out much fertilizer the following year. But, I mean, if you can get peanut hay, I highly recommend to give it a try. It is, like I said, what they call it, the redneck alfalfa cow chow. And before anybody makes the comment, yes, we do realize we need to uh, build us something to put this round bell in for the goats because they do. When you give goats a round bell, they will waste it, which is why we always buy square bells. But the peanut hay only comes in the round bells, at least around us right now. 
and it was just too good of a product at too good of a price to pass up. I mean, literally two miles down the road from our house, coming straight out of the field. Right, and what they do end up wasting, we are going to um, scoop up in the wheelbarrow, and we're going to lay over our garden area for compost because as he was just saying it does break down it does add nutrients to the soil so i really don't see as we're wasting any of it because it's all going to get used whether it's feeding the goats or feeding the garden and i can promise you our goats done got the 50 dollars worth of that what that round bell costed us so i mean we got our money worth out of it and they to be honest with you the day we put it in there they had done been fed their grain their grain was in their feeder that we uh, that we feed they left their grain and they left the alfalfa hay that was in our barn alone and started eating on that round bell and everything and the only thing we worry about with a round bell feeder is our boar goats getting their horn stuck so we're going to look at an alternative to make one one the reason we ain't got nothing right now to put it in is I, we don't own a tractor right now to be able to put a uh, pick up a, a round bell so what we done is just rolled it right off the tractor through our gate and took cut the netting off and went to let it go. Well, rolled and, it right off the trailer. Right off the trailer, yes, yeah, not the trail the trailer. So our goats absolutely loved it. I mean, they was, I mean, they probably ate peanut hay for two, three days in a row without even messing with the alfalfa that was in the barn. The only reason our alfalfa finished getting eat, ate in the barn. It rained a couple of days and they stayed in there eating it then and everything but it's not going to go to waste what they don't eat or what they may get peed on or whatnot that's a duck uh i seen a bird fly in behind us and i'd want making make sure it wasn't a hawk or anything but it was our muskogee duck but they'll pee on it they'll poop on it so they they're not like a cow eat and eat and eat it and whatnot they will waste some of it but it'll get spread out over our garden tilled in and be broke down into compost there so it's not really going to waste what they don't eat so but we are looking at getting a round bell feeder or having one built i've seen a lot of uh round bell feeders for goats on one of the pages i think raising goats yeah and they have a gate where it opens up and you put it up in there and he used i think cattle panels or goat fencing or goat panels around it to where they can't get their horns in it but they can reach up there and grab it and pull the hay out and eat it through the, the little fencing of the panel so we are looking at getting that or building or building one yeah something but anyways yeah so this is just a quick little video and showing y'all us going out in the field and getting our bella uh peanut hay straight from the farmer um anything that we can do to support local we do uh, and uh, if you have any questions regarding peanut hay and um, the wonderfulness of it, of feeding, it's a, it is literally an all livestock hay. Any livestock can eat it and benefit from it um, in all stages of life. So if you have any questions, just reach out to us. Remember, um, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all under Polar Farms and Homestead. Please so reach out and follow us and like us on facebook and tiktok and give us a follow and on here if you follow us on youtube and you're not a subscriber go on and subscribe hit that like button and, and ring that notification bell that way you will be notified each time we do post a video and we're trying to get to where we gonna try to do a video a week and there may be some times that depending on work and st our activities with our kids because we do have an eight-year-old and nine-year-old that's active and doing stuff. And like this past week, or yesterday actually, we went to a uh, Jackson Farms in Black Rock, Arkansas for fall festival type farm that they have, what was that, uh, apples they shoot out of a cannon at Target. Yeah. They have a, a little corn zip maize. line and corn maids and different stuff like that 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 we the entire family went to and enjoyed themselves. And you, you like a good laugh? Go to our TikTok and look. We had they had Senior Citizen Day. My mom went and she rode the zip line. So, and you ought to check out the one with the her on the slide. So my wife put that together. As soon as I seen the video of my mom coming down that tunnel, they used a corrugated pipe to make a slide out of. And I said we need to put a video together with the song. She's coming in hot, and it it 
climb and like and watch it on TikTok. So follow us on there, like us on all social media. I think the only ones we're not on is really Twitter. I mean, yeah, we Twitter. just don't use that. and We're not on Snapchat. We're not on Snapchat or anything like that. But all other ones, give us a shout and a follow and a like. And like I said on here, ring that notification bell, give us a like and subscribe. And follow along with us. There ain't no telling what you may see up to get into. And if there's anything you'd like us to do a video on, let us know. Shoot us a message. We we may not respond right away, but we will always respond to every comment. And it may be late because we are night owls. She works third shift, and I'm up most of the night anyway. And then in the morning, I get up and take get re the kids ready for school and then go get her from work. So it may be late, so you may see the message the next morning when you get up. But... but we're but gonna, for sure, message us on any social media platform, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, and we will get back with you. Um, we want to stride ourselves. To a, Olivia's back there with a broom swinging in the air. I'm not yeah. sure what's going on. We're about to have to go find that out. But we try to stride ourselves on answering and responding to any comments or messages we may get. Like I said, we may not do it right away, but we will get back to you. So, thanks for a uh, follow along so far. Um, we are climbing in subscribers, and we do thank you for that very much so. And like I said, if y'all like what you see, also share our videos. Share them and let other people know. But for sure, subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified every time we post. Thanks, y'all. Y'all have a great day. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Y'all enjoy the rest of this video. Hey.